in search of soil. Based on all your years of looking through the microscope at soil, what are some of the most common issues you see when you look at soil under the microscope? What's missing? What are the problems? Um, you, you begin to realize that you're missing massive parts of that soil food web. The only thing that most people see when they look at <laughs> soil is a boatload of bacteria. And if that's all you've got in your soil, that's not soil, that's dirt. You're not gonna grow plants without using toxic chemicals. Well, and then how much nutrient can that plant actually have in it if it's only getting an excess of nitrogen and phosphorus and maybe if you're lucky, calcium. It's missing all the other nutrients. So how can that be healthy for a human being? So we've got to get this whole nutrient cycling system back into the soil. And that's what we mostly see is that people are trying to grow plants in dirt, not in soil. So they can't possibly have healthy plants for themselves or their animals to eat. Yeah, I think all of us want healthy plants, not just because we only want healthy plants, but because we want to be healthier as people. And I mean, that's been emphasized here with the whole COVID-19 pandemic. When you think about bacterial dominated soils in a production setting, maybe that's a garden, maybe that's on a homestead, maybe that's on a farm. What could people expect if they fixed that bacterial imbalance and they shifted the soil to more of a fungal bacterial balance where it was more even instead of fungally, instead of being bacterially dominated? My expectation would be that weeds would go away. Because as you get the fungi growing, those fungi put out the form of nitrogen for your crop plants, not for the weeds. So that would be my first expectation is what you would notice first before anything else. Maybe secondly, that all of your seeds germinate more rapidly in a healthy environment. And then those plants are getting all the nutrition that they need in the proper balances because it's the plant putting out the exudates, telling the bacteria and fungi what to do. And so the bacteria and fungi go do that because that they're being fed and they're bringing back to that plant the nutrients that that plant requires. So actually, I missed a step. The bacteria and fungi have to be eaten by their predators. And that's what releases the plant's available nutrients because the predators have lower concentration of nutrients in their bodies. So they've got to exit the excess. So Mother Nature very cleverly designed this system to work this way, and it works very well until you start killing stuff. Right. Tillage is a huge problem. Uh, you till, you are asking for weeds. You are asking for a problem with fertility. Your plant's not going to have the nutrition because with tillage, you sliced and diced and crushed all the good guy fungi. You wiped out your uh, predators in the system. So the good guy nematodes are now gone. And the root feeding nematodes are having a heyday out there. It's like, all right, all the competition disappeared. Look at this root. Chow, chow, chow. Right. And you start having problems. So, yeah, it's a, the things we expect to see is a reduction in the weeds. Uh, we expect to see um, seeds germinating faster. We see the plants themselves growing faster, having a more healthy color to them because they're getting that whole group of nutrients that they require in order to be healthy. They start um, flowering earlier. They will um, set seed earlier. Uh, and so that whole cycle goes faster. Your yields are typically higher. Um, it depends on how good a job you've done matching what the requirements of the plant actually are and how much yield increase that you'll get. So people who haven't done a real good job of fixing the problem in the soil, they haven't, they don't have a microscope. They're kind of trying to determine whether their plants are happy or not by the way they look. So they're less likely to get all of the benefits up and going. 
in that first growing season so that they may not see a huge increase in yields. If they would get that microscope and they'd be able to monitor what's going on in their soil, then they would be able to get those um, um, balances of the organisms up to the levels that they require and much more likely, therefore, to have better nutrition in the crop material, in the food, as well as higher yields. Hi, everybody. Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show. Also, be sure to check out some of the great clips and watch the full interviews right here on In Search of Soil.